Hey, what's going on, my friends? This is Dave Sharp. Welcome to Wake Up Legendary. Uh, I am excited today to have a, uh, a, a guest today who uh, is really every day um, in the business of, um, as, far as, I, as far as I understand, uh, taking risk, flying helicopters, uh, even saving lives. Um, and so, um, I'm really excited to hear about his journey here with affiliate marketing, with legendary marketer, with, uh, building his business online. So with that being said, let's welcome to the show another David. What's going on, my friend? Good morning. How are you doing, Dave? Good brother. Did I get that right? Are you an EMS helicopter pilot? Yes, that's correct. Affirmative. That's, that's me. Wow, man. So you're, um, you're in the business of, of, like I said, taking risk, flying high and saving lives, right? I, yeah, yeah. I love flying. So I do, uh, I do fly those helos. Wow, man. Wow. That's, that's really cool. So, um, so what, what led you to the online world, man? I mean, how did you eventually find us as well? Um, so it honestly actually started w during like my flight school, my flight career. So a little backstory as far as how I all started this was, um, uh, you know, military, I was in the military. I got out, I went through flight school, flight training, mm -hmm. and that was back, back in 2014. I went through my whole flight school. I got certified, trained, got all my degrees. And then I, um, started, you know, being a flight instructor, doing tours, and then came yeah. out to EMS. But during around 2016, 2017, that's when the, the wheels kind of started turning in my head. Like, hey, what if for whatever reason I can't fly anymore, right? What if I can't, what if I lose my medical, my physical, that I'm not able to fly, uh, I lose an arm, whatever the case is, right? So that's kind of what started turning the wheels. Hey, I got to make like an extra income or something in case all this work that I put in for my flight school doesn't work or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's how I started going into like trying to make money online. And of course, the whole typical you know, going on Google, how to make money online. I've tried everything from Amazon FBA, my own drop shipping store, uh, you know, eBay, pretty much all that stuff. But what I tell uh, my guys is the reason I basically failed those is because I didn't really have anybody I can actually turn to ask questions when I needed help. So mm -hmm. when I found affiliate marketing and believe it or not, I actually found it through TikTok. I was, it was one of those where I was a typical, where I just kind of downloaded it. I was just kind of scrolling through it, got mm -hmm. curious. I clicked on somebody's link and I started my training. As soon as I went through the training and I saw that there was advisors, mentors, somebody like somebody real life on the other side that I can talk to and ask specific questions. That's when I pretty much just said I was all in. So that's how I kind of got led into this whole group, into this whole community, because like, I can talk to real people. There's a Facebook group. I had so much support that I could answer questions when I would get stuck. Yeah. That's how I actually got into this whole thing. So nice, man. So uh how has your experience here at Legendary Marketer been so far? It's been amazing. Oh, it's definitely been amazing. Like I said, I mean, when I would get stuck, you know, I would see other affiliates or I see other people, like how are they having success? And I would try to copy them. It didn't work. I would ask questions. I started getting, I started like having, you know, start getting new friends from affiliates here from other platforms. And I mean, I would just be able to reach out to people. That's yeah. basically why I pretty much stuck to it. I said I was all in and that's why I continued on in this, in this uh, area. Yeah. So, um, so, so, uh, you've benefited from making a lot of new connections. You've had a lot of people to your network, a lot of real people. And that, I mean, I would assume just like helicopter school, or helicopter, the helicopter community, if you will, knowing people, learning from people, being able to talk to people, just, you know, it, it just makes such a big difference, right? And unfortunately, a lot of times uh, in, in, in the online world, um, there's, uh, there's, I don't know, it's, it's difficult to find, um, it's difficult to find community and make connections that, that are really helpful versus just, people that are that are uh just trying to tell you what you want to hear so they can sell you something i mean we, it's no secret here at legendary that we have courses and training for sale but um i mean we have several hundred three to five hundred people taking our challenge a day and you guys who are all listening you wouldn't believe how many people that we turn down if if we feel that it's not a good fit for them, meaning that it's going to put them in some financial distress to buy one of our trainings 
or if they have some sort of a, um, I don't know, some sort of an obvious thing that's going to inhibit them from being successful. I mean, we're very non-predatory. Are we, do we challenge people? Do we, do we push people? Do we say things that might make people uncomfortable? Absolutely. But, um, but I think it's really difficult nowadays for us to find really communities and people that, that really actually are going to give us uh, what, we, what we need and not just what we want. And so um, is that something that what, what are the values and principles that guide your that guide you in your business? I mean, what are some of the things from a dynamic standpoint? We can talk about mechanics and how you've been marketing and stuff here for a second uh, in a second. But what are some of the things that are, are driving you and are, are, are beyond or underneath sort of the mechanical elements of your marketing? What are some of the principles and the values that are driving you in this business? So, um, so first of all, like you would all say and whatever say is like, what is your why, right? Like you have to get in this and you got to see like, what is your why? So yeah. obviously for mine was for like my family, right? If I was to lose my job, something was to happen, uh, I couldn't fly. I have to find like another way to support the family, you know, put my kids through college, whatever the case is. But also, when we get into this business, I have noticed like everybody else, you know, we want to make extra money for whatever reason. But when you start actually um, getting those emails from like those people that kind of look up to you, hey, I made my first lead, my first commission. That's like a whole nother like a feeling, right? Like 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 your baby's like starting to walk kind of thing, right? Like <laughs> it's one of those where like like right. you help them, right? Realize it because I was like that too, right? Yeah, my baby, come on, baby, you know what I mean? I know. Well, I but, got a um, five month old right now, so that. That really uh, triggered. You just a, had a new one, right? I a real, a real life situation for me. Yeah, no, for real, man. Like when you have people who are been, like I, I, and that's what I was getting to. I'm glad that you brought that up, and I'll let you finish your thought. But it becomes a whole bigger thing when you realize that what you're saying and what you're doing, people are actually taking it seriously, man. Mm -hmm. And they're putting their, they're putting their money and their time and everything on the line based on what you're saying, and. Um, to really believe in what you're saying and really believe uh, in, in to really feel like my why has evolved for, for it not just being about me and my family, but also helping other people help their families, right? Like be there for the brand new person to get started with their dream and say yes to themselves. And I, I think that's kind of what you're getting to. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. That's, ex that's exactly what it is. It's like, that's kind of that's kind of how it all kind of shifted as you go through the whole process and you start to learn and grow and, and, uh, you know, just continue on forward. So definitely. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, and that's one of the things that I tell our team all the time is that like that there's a way that I think it's really powerful. If you can, if you can adopt a, a why that's bigger than yourself. And, and for me, I'll tell you guys, real clearly again, what my why is. It's not just about me and my family. Absolutely. I want to take care of me and my family. Um, that that's something that I think is, is, is natural, right? Like I want to provide for my, my family. I want to make sure that they're comfortable. I want to make sure that they have what they need. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to leave generational wealth or whether me and my wife are going to spend every damn dime before we die. Yeah. I haven't decided <laughs> that yet. Right. Because I mean, you know, I'll, I'll figure that out later. Right. But but, uh, but, but there's a, there's yeah. also an, another element of my why, which is being there for that brand new person. Like somebody was there for me. Somebody had to have said yes to their dreams. Somebody had to have taken a risk in it with their business to be there, to inspire me to then say yes to my dreams. And that is a, to me, that was, that's really important. And I don't think, a, I don't think it, I didn't see that at first, David, I didn't see that. I didn't have that appreciation for people. Like when I was early in my career, I was pretty desperate for that sale. And I, I, I you know, like it was kind of just like a me, me, me thing. And it was just all about me. And, and, but today I really see the domino effect of people saying yes to a bigger version of their life, to the best version of themselves, to going for their dreams. Somebody had to have said yes before me to inspire me and give me permission to say yes to my dreams. And, and now 
one of the most rewarding things about my career in this industry is that I've been able to help people say yes to their dreams, man. And I think like you're talking about when you get those first couple of people giving you that positive feedback, it really does take your motivation and your why up a notch, doesn't it, bro? And and I, I'd like you to just say a few more words on that just to give some people who are new here Th that inspiration to stick with it until they start to make that impact on people. That's, that's definitely, definitely. That's, that's the actual thing because I mean, believe it or not, like I was saying, like I failed in all these other business models from, I tried Amazon, I tried uh, drop shipping and I didn't really know what I was doing. So when I found affiliate marketing, you know, I was kind of a little skeptical. I didn't want to fail again. Right. I didn't want to try another thing and be another failure. But like I said, like when you started seeing, when I started talking to advisors and, people right that i had support and and just help right like that's what kind of can make me continue on and that's why when i talk to when i get on my i do a lot of TikTok lives now and i tell people it's like hey if you guys want you, you guys have access to me you guys can reach out ask me questions if you don't really understand this model uh so you can actually understand before you just go through right first you got to educate yourself to make sure you know what you're doing how you're doing stuff and like you guys have access to me because that was one thing that that really got to me when I first started my whole trying to make money online thing because I didn't know what I was doing. And of course, I didn't really have anybody to reach to. I would, you know, turn to the obvious Google, YouTube, and but it wouldn't answer a specific question. So definitely that's what actually kind of kept me going, that's to say, kind of thing. Nice. So now you've turned around and using TikTok as sort of your primary marketing platform. What have you learned about marketing there on TikTok that, that might be helpful for some of our listeners here? So yeah, definitely. I do use uh, TikTok. My main ones are TikTok. And then I, I want to start growing like my YouTube channel. Then I have my Facebook group, but TikTok is my basic, my primary one. And of course, I'm sticking to that one platform so I could learn it and how it works, right? It's, it's still a little tricky. I'm still trying to work out all the bells and whistles, but definitely it's one of those where like, if you start learning and you start kind of like, you know, your mistakes that you make, you start learning from them it you'll start seeing results right you'll start seeing more views you'll start seeing people comment and then you can start engaging in these uh in uh in stuff yeah so how are you coming up with ideas for content are you kind of modeling after other content that you see are you answering questions that you see pop up in your comment section like where is your inspiration for your content coming from so I do actually watch other people, you know, I try to see and I try to kind of not copy them, but kind of put in my own flavor from like the other videos. But right now I'm also doing a lot of like answering questions. A lot of people are answering um, uh, the same kind of questions. So I, I answer questions and then what I kind of tell my guys is, you know, I make regular TikTok videos content to uh, put it out there. And then my TikTok lives, I like to go on there and ask questions. It's a lot more easier for me to go into detail, answer these questions. And then, of course, on my YouTube channel, I like to take them step by step as far as the whole process kind of thing. So are you engaging with people in your Facebook group more one on one or are you like kind of what is your what is your calls to action that you're giving people? Are you saying, hey, go click the link, click the link in my bio and come over and join my Facebook group? Or are you offering them some sort of a, a like what is kind of your me like your meta strategy for meaning the, the kind of 30,000 foot perspective? How are you utilizing TikTok and Facebook? and youtube together that's that's my question so youtube youtube i basically that's basically where i can get the eyeballs of traffic so they can and then that's when i direct them to my youtube channel so they can see how you can make money you know different ways as far as affiliate whatever the case is my facebook group yeah i do actually take them in and it's more of a one-on-one -on -one. if they need a chat facetime ask questions or whatever i can actually engage with them a lot more in my group but um, that's kind of how I have it. My YouTube, I post videos that I can take you step by step. I can show you all that stuff. And then TikTok is to kind of introduce you. And then I'll bring them over to like my Facebook group and my YouTube channel. Are you doing, are you after they get to Facebook, are you doing any one-on-one -on -one messaging with them to engage, welcome them to your group, anything like that? Yeah, definitely. I do. I actually answer or message all my guys that come in. And of course, you know, you have the questions in the beginning, what they need help on, whatever. And I kind of go off from there like, OK, you need help from affiliate marketing or how to make money online. Or maybe you guys are in here. You already started your journey, but 
you're having trouble setting up your videos, whatever the case is. But yeah, definitely I do message them uh, when they come in. So how did you develop, David, the confidence to be able to help somebody when you were new and, and you're still at the beginning of your journey? I'm asking this because so many people have a hard time with their, their confidence thinking that, well, I'm not really qualified, if you will. It's kind of like a pilot. I know a lot of pilots, one of the, one of the things that you guys do at the beginning of your career is, and you just said it, and I have a friend that's a pilot, this is also how I know this, is that one of the first things he did at the beginning of his career is went into training school. So he started training other pilots, not at the end of his career, not in the middle of his career, like at, at right immediately at the beginning of his career as he was trying to get a job somewhere else. He, that's what he was doing was actually training other pilots, which is kind of an interesting thing. Um, but how did you overcome the imposter syndrome or that I'm not good enough or I'm new, or I don't know enough, I don't have enough success or whatever the kind of story, you, you know, people are pretty prone to tell themselves to give yourself that permission to sort of be somebody of service, be somebody who can help, be somebody who can coach. So, yeah, definitely. As far as that whole flight instructor, yeah, that's actually kind of weird how you start off starting to instruct people like in that school. The, whatever school you went to, they'll hire you there as a flight instructor and you'll start training. And believe me, I was awkward. I was, you know, just a guy that I would just read off the PowerPoint, had no idea. By the way, I like to do a lot of stuff with my hands. My, my students didn't really know because I like to do I like to teach with my hands, but um, I was awkward as well. And then once I got into this, into this business model of, again, I felt kind of awkward. Like I'm not a guru. I'm not, I don't, you know, I don't know the best, but the one thing that actually made me kind of come out of my shell was I read uh, Russell Brunson's book. Like you don't have to be an expert on that actual model. You just have to be, uh, you just have to be to that next level from who you're teaching. If that makes sense. You just got to be to that next chapter. That's all you really need to do. And yeah, that, as soon as I started reading that, you know, I would get on my TikTok and my first videos on TikTok were so awkward as well. You know, it's like, hello, my friend. I didn't know what I was doing and stuff. Yeah. But after a while, you start building confidence. You start getting on videos. You start understanding. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, I do know this. I can actually help uh, people, you know, like as far yeah. as I know what they're asking as far as the questions. And you basically start building that confidence. You start moving forward. And um, yeah. Yeah. So Megan commented that here, the, tr this training concept direct directly after your training should be more utilized. If you're able to reteach the concept, that means you're truly obtaining and learning the material. Then she went on to say, I, I make my kids do this to each other, but, um, we, d we do that. We, we, that is part of our process. That is part of our system. Unfortunately, it's a challenge to, to get, you know, some of our students here within, within our platform and community to do that to, because they have that sort of imposter syndrome. That's what we call it. Imposter syndrome, newbie complex, which tells them, well, I, I, I don't, you know, I, I, I need to get a little more success under my belt. I, I need, so, which is exactly why I asked the question. Um, it, it's called learn, do, teach. And, yeah. and, and when you, when you, when you do what you've learned and then you turn around and you teach what you've learned or teach what you did, right? Mm -hmm. It solidifies that so much more into your DNA, into your subconscious. It builds your, boosts your confidence. And again, it solidifies what you just learned. So I, I think that for, for those of you who are wondering what's the missing piece to, to me and my business and getting started and, and, and really kind of taking things to the next level, it is get into teaching. First of all, you got to do what you've learned. That, that's a huge, that's the middle piece. That's kind of the bridge that, that kind of allows you to connect the learning and the teaching, right? You got to do it. So if you learn it, then you do it, you build that bridge, and then you can teach it over here on this other side, teach people how to get over that bridge, right? Yeah, and it's yeah. such a powerful, powerful concept. It concretes what you've learned and what you've did. And simultaneously, it is 
the marketing strategy that's going to help you to be successful no matter what the niche is. It's called education-based selling. And if I can teach somebody how to, um, in a sense, give them results in advance, so give them some sort of a result before I ask them to spend money. So I'm going to teach you something. If you guys notice any of my marketing, I'm teaching something before I give a call to action to do anything. I mean, look at this show. I mean, every day there's not even a call to action, right? I mean, the call to action is essentially, ideally, you're already in the community and you're probably going to see something for sale at some point, but uh, we're giving you results in advance right here, right? So, oh, yeah. So, Definitely, yeah, and that's exactly powerful. true because it's like I even tell my guys like, hey, I'm here to help you guys out. You have access to me. If there's something, I'm no guru, but there's stuff that I probably won't know. I know where to go find it. There's a community yeah. out there that I can actually ask because I'm pretty sure whatever question somebody's asking me or what I haven't gone through, somebody else has. I yeah. could definitely ask them, but I tell them straight out. It's like, hey, I'm here. I could help you guys out. If I don't know the question or something, I can definitely know how to find the answer. I can, I know who to reach out. And that's definitely, that's, that's amazing. That's awesome. Well, that's such a powerful concept too, is just no, is, is just having confidence in your resourcefulness. It's like, and I tell people that even within our team here all the time that don't pretend that you know everything. Don't, mm -hmm. don't, don't feel the, don't feel pressure that you also need to know everything. You don't know that you can be resourceful. And know also that if you tell somebody, you know what, I don't know the answer to that, but but let me go check with a couple of friends or check with a couple of people that, that I think may have the answer. You earn so much trust. Like you really do. You earn so much trust from people because if you're bullshitting them, everybody has yeah. a built-in built BS detector. You know mm. what I mean? Like we all do. And, um, and so, so there's no need to lie. There's no need to, you know, have puffery and, and kind of try to make yourself uh, seem as if you know more than you do, just be real and offer what you can. And, and, and again, the majority of people just need to are, are at the beginning. So they just need to know those, those initial steps. How do I get started? How do I make my, get my first, That's exactly, how do I yeah. get right? So you don't need to know advanced concepts. Just the fact, as you said, if you're one step ahead of somebody, I remember when I started to market back 2009, 2010, I was, I was generating a lead or two a day. And that's kind of the, the result that I would market. I would be like, Hey, let me, let me, let me teach you guys how I've generated two leads a day over the past week. Right. And to somebody who's generating zero leads a day, that was interesting. It was also believable which is one of the reasons why marketing and, and teaching like believable things is so powerful. Because if I was like, let me show you how to generate 10,000 leads per day. Like that's just overwhelming. Let me show you how to make 10,000 a month. Like to some people that's unbelievable. And that's, let that's, that's make, let me show you how to make an extra 2000 a month. Let me show you how to make an extra hundred dollars a day. Now, that's going to be the first step that somebody's going to take anyways, and it's more believable. And that's exactly, yeah, that's exactly how I kind of think of myself when I start doing stuff like, okay, what would I do? Or I was in my shoes like six months ago. Back six months ago, all I wanted was to make a commission. I didn't even care if it was 19 cents. I didn't care if it was five bucks. I just wanted to make a commission. So, you know what I mean? Or I just want to hit my first hundred. I wanted to hit my first thousand. I just wanted something, right? Yeah. And that's basically, it's like, yeah, just, and then you just work up the baby steps yeah. until, like you said, until you could get to those 10,000 leads or whatever the case is. So, yeah. And, and honestly, I mean, once you start getting crazy big results, like it's, it's, I see all these people out here that are like, I'm a millionaire now. And it's like, who gives a shit? Like, but that, that's so unbelievable to most people. You know what I mean? Like and a lot of people are not going to really like believe it. Like they don't, you know what I mean? It's just one of those, like, you're right. It's like, it's like, I don't really care about you. I care about me. How are you going to help totally, me kind of thing? Totally, totally, man. And I mean, I think that that's what I've learned in sort of the evolution that I've taken because I mean, I made my first million man back in 2011 or 12, man. You know what I mean? Like, but I don't have to say that on every video. 
You know what I mean? Like, it's like, yep. it's like, I, I, I've learned to be more interested in what people want and more interested in where they're at than try to worry about being interesting all the time. And I do see a lot of people who, who, who really struggle with, I, I believe it's like, it's an insecurity, even as they begin to get results, they think that they need to push and put those results in people's faces all the time. And while that might be attractive or inspirational to some people, to others, it's a real turnoff. And it's in, and especially in this day and age, like being able to read the room, like for example, in 2020, man, I mean, we had a great year in 2020, but I didn't throw that in people's face every single video because I'm, I'm reading the room. I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive to what other people are going through. What is, what are, Honestly, I don't live a normal life anymore. I mean, I don't know what it's like to be a, a, a nine to five worker who goes into a job of Wawa or a Starbucks or a, a retail store or something like that, right? So, so I do have to try and think about what is it like, man, for, 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 for a person and try to speak in that language, right? So they can understand what the hell I'm talking about. Uh, we were doing a an interview with with a guy uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, who said, you know, he he would come across the videos that were like a hundred dollars a day, and 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 he was like, man, just I want to just I just I want to find the video that's like show me how to make five dollars a day. Yeah, yeah, that's how it right. is. Yeah, because right. nowadays, like, I mean, just I'm, show me that it's real, man. You know, yeah, that's exactly, and it's it, like you connect a lot more. And I've noticed that as as far as my journey, right? Like you connect a lot more if you tell your story because there's going to be people in that same boat that you're telling. They don't want to see the Lambos and the the trips or whatever. Like they want to see like real life. You know, it's like, hey, I just made five bucks. We can turn that five into 10, 10, 20, whatever the case is. Yeah. And you actually started connecting a lot more with those people, right? Because it was actually we were we were close, right? We were actually kind of like in the same boat. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's really powerful for, for, and that's, that's one of the things that I wish more of you, all of you guys listening would, would embrace is the fact that where you're at in your journey right now is actually really a pretty, it's really a pretty, um, it's really a pretty powerful place. It's a powerful time. You know, I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's like the most, it's like the most, uh, hold on, let me pull up something. It's like the most, like, like, uh, you know, it's the most, it's the most important time in your business. And also, it's also the time in which you can actually connect to people the most, you know, is because you know what it's like to, like, to, uh, to kind of really struggle through some stuff. You know what I mean? It's fresh right? Like one of the things and take lots of pictures of your journey, right? Like take pictures. If you have a nine to five job, take pictures of it. Like this picture to me is, is priceless. It's the, one of the only pictures that I have of me working construction. This, this picture right here is priceless. Like to me, this was at the very beginning of my journey. Um, I, I've got the nicotine patch on there. You can see I was, I just stopped smoking cigarettes uh, I've got the, the laptop that my, my, uh, my wife, who was then my girlfriend, let me put on her credit card and pay it back like 50 bucks a month, you know, until I had it paid off. You know, my desk, as you can see, the couch is right there. My desk setup was literally right in the middle of the living room. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I mean, and people actually kind of connect to that because that's the same story. That's the same boat. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, hey, if he's actually if he's there in construction and he's starting his online business now, he's here. Like, that's probably me as well, right? Like, yeah. and that's kind of how I kind of see it as well. Like, I tell my story, and like they always say, like story sells, right? Like, yeah. you tell your story, and people are going to be like, hey, I'm in that same boat. I hey, I want to make five bucks. Hey, I want to make ten, a hundred, whatever the case is. And you start connecting a lot more. Yeah. So, yeah, that's definitely, yep. This is this is the other angle. Uh, there's the dinner table on the other side of the desk, right? And this is me probably one day doing a webinar where nobody showed up, but I delivered it anyways because I was too prideful to tell my wife that nobody actually showed up to the I webinar. I remember you right? said that one time on your legendary. I remember that. You just <laughs> went on. The show must go on. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I would like do these live, you know, back again, it was webinars like on GoToWebinar, Zoom. What I don't remember of Zoom. I didn't use Zoom. I use GoToWebinar, but like, 
you know, TikTok, Instagram, live on Facebook wasn't a thing. You, you, if to go live, you had to do a, a legit webinar. And so I would do a webinar. I would at least promote a webinar and then like, you know, 805, you know, 801, 802, 805, 810, I'm, you know, nobody's there yet. And I'm, you know, I'm kind of like, shit, you know, and, and, <laughs> and my wife, you know, is skeptical at the beginning, right? And, and, and just kind of, and I'm like, yeah, I got to deliver this thing. So I'm like, welcome to the webinar. We got a packed house here. I'm like trying to be extra loud. So my wife hears it, right? I deliver the whole thing, you know, and and your nobody wife is in the backyard. That's my baby. She's in the backyard. <laughs> nobody nobody shows up. But, you know, I got good presentation practice. You know what I mean? Like it was, yeah. And, and you know, I, I, you know, that's the beginning of the journey. It's like get lots of pictures. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. tell that story like for months and years into the future, be just like I'm doing right now because, you know, it, it, it connects with people because that's where they're at. You know, as you, you guys become more successful, you gals become more successful and you do pay, pay off, you know, all your credit cards or pay off your mortgage or you, you know, you, you buy your dream house or you buy your dream car, you go on your dream vacation. Like, I mean, those are things that not everybody's going to be able to relate to. And some people may be inspired by it, but they're, what they're, what, what everybody can relate to is those early days of starting your business. That's yeah, what everybody can relate to. You know what I mean? Yeah. So telling those stories and really keeping your mind on that and keeping your heart on that brand new person, being there for them, telling their story through your story. And it's just such a powerful concept. I'm glad you you brought it up today, David. And, um, you know, I, I'm, I'm just uh, I'm thrilled for your success and I'm, I'm thrilled to have you as a part of our community. What would you say to somebody who might be sitting on the fence right now, maybe on a checkout page or something, getting ready to potentially take our challenge or whatever and is wondering, is this the right thing and, and, and is legendary actually have the potential to make an impact on my life? So what I tell, you know, my guys on, on my lives or whatever the case, when they ask me, the hardest part in all of this is to start and to stay consistent. That is the hardest thing. Other than that, it's actually really easy. But as long as you're actually able to wake up, put about an hour or two a day in creating content, emails, whatever the case is, and actually starting, I always tell them about that matrix movies. Like I could open the door, but you physically have to walk through there. It is going to be your business. This is going to be yours. You do have to put the work and the effort, but if you guys are, I am willing to help you guys out. I'll be here along to ask me questions, whatever the case is, but that's actually the hardest part to start and to just stay consistent. Other than that, it's not really that difficult. It's just, you know, th those are what I truly do believe and what I've seen. Cause there are some times that I don't want to get up and I don't want to create a video or whatever the case is, right? I worked late, I got off, whatever the case is, but it's, those are what I truly believe are the most difficult ones. So, yeah. And where do you see your future here? Where do you see kind of the next year or two? I mean, what are some of your goals and, and a what have you already accomplished? That's exciting. That, that, uh, that is sort of maybe even beyond your expectations and, and what else, what are your sites set on over the next 12 months or so? So we all started, I started this for, you know, for a backup, whatever, multiple streams, but honestly, this, I mean, I could, I could actually see myself cause I do travel with this EMS job. You know, they send me to little small towns and I do travel a lot here and there. And of course my kids are getting bigger. I do have a five-year-old and a 16 year old right now. So, um, maybe, you know, maybe making this into a full-time thing later on in the future, we'll see how it is. I love flying, but if I can make it into a full-time thing, like I'll be here talking on my TikTok lives or making content. My little one, she has a little, we're here in the office. She has a little table on the side with her cartoons and she's on her iPad too. You know, just she's, she's, she sees that dad gets on video. He's not shy or whatever. And she's also doing it too. So I'm actually kind of impacting her too. Who knows what she might, you know what I mean? She might be on it too, but it's like, it's just one of those things that like she sees me go on and she's also trying to do stuff on her iPad as well. But I mean, honestly, right now I love flying. Um, I'm, I'm in a very, I, I like where my journey is going, but in the future I might go, you know, make this as far as my full-time, my full-time job. So I could stay home with the kids, you know, go to those soccer practices, um, you know, graduations, anniversaries, parties, stay here at the house kind of thing. 
Yeah, it's nice to have choices, man. It's nice to have choices. I mean, flying is not a not an unfun thing. Um, uh, you know, I mean, I, I I I have I have some pilot friends. They really love it. You know, they really that's kind of one of those jobs that uh, it's kind of hard not to love, uh, especially if you like being up. You know, in the sky. And, I I like the way my office looks. My office view looks. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can, I can understand that. Well, hey, brother, thank you for your uh, uh, service in that uh, particular area of, of business. And thanks for being a great example for those of us in this community. I appreciate uh, it. Thank you. you. You know, get in there, get rocking, learn, do, teach. You, you brought up some really powerful principles today and uh, made it really valuable for people who are listening. I hope you'll come back and keep us posted here in a, in a few months. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Dave. I appreciate it. All right, David. See you, my brother. Take care, my man. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. See you. All right, my friends. Uh, have a fantastic Friday uh, and a great weekend. Uh, do something today to finish your week strong. Um, you know, take a risk. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. Uh, finish, finish strong, and then utilize some of your time this weekend even if it's just during some of your relaxation to maybe catch up on some of these episodes, go through some of the training that you, that you have here at legendary. If you're a blueprints client, go through some of that training, maybe rewatch some sections if you need to, to, to brush up or get clarity. And most of all, take what you've learned, do it, do it, and then teach it to somebody else. All right. Be legendary. We'll see you back here on Monday, 10 a.m. Eastern time for another episode. Peace.